Now I'm not drinking today guys as well, I know, what the hell? What, what is this? Who is this game? Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just new, um, then hi, my name's Ellie. The main reason today why I've set up the camera, why I basically want to have a sit down conversation with you is because um, around a week ago, I put on my Instagram story, well, on my Instagram feed, the cats like watching me. I put on my Instagram that I've managed to lose some weight and a couple of you, more than expected actually, was really supportive of it. So thank you so much for everybody that commented and liked. It honestly means a hell of a lot because I remember when I was doing it in secret, like I pretended almost as though the weight wasn't getting me down or that I wasn't big, but I knew I was, if that makes sense. I just kind of ignored it, pushed it aside and thought, now nah, we'll deal with that later on in life. I'm not worrying about my weight right now. The truth is though, you girl were getting fat, okay? I was, there's no beating around the bush. I was getting big. I think the, well, I say this, but it was big for me. I don't wanna go ahead and like bash other people's weights because that's not what this video is about. I'm just gonna explain my journey, kind of where I've come from, where, not where I've come from, but like, my weight journey, the thinnest that I've been, you know, the biggest that I've been, and how I've come to now like a healthy weight for me, and which I've smashed. Round of applause, bitches. Yes, I've got this, and I've explained this to a few people that popped up on Instagram. You might think that you can't lose this weight. You might think it's impossible or you're forever gonna be the weight that you are now. I promise you and can assure you 100%, if you put in this time, effort, diet and dedication, you can drop pounds, and I'm talking pounds in weeks. If you wanna, <laughs> I'm already rambling and it's only been two minutes, well, three minutes into the video. If you want to see, basically, or if you wanna hear any tips and tricks on how I lost the weight, then just please continue watching. I have always had a fast metabolism. Ever from being a child, I was never really, hands down, I can actually say this, you won't believe it by the photos that I'm gonna show you in a minute, but I was never a fat kid. Like I could literally eat what I want and I'd never put a pound on. And then as soon as I hit 19, something within me, like something within my body, started to change. As you do when you're a woman, I know it probably happens with males as well. You go through like, a lot of people tend to go through chubby stage in junior school and then they hit like this lanky stage as a teenager. And then some people either maintain, you'll are a lucky bugger if you maintain your weight after then, but a lot of us then tend to go downhill. If you know what I'm saying. I hit 19, I got in a serious relationship and basically everything moved up quite quickly. I think a lot of girls can relate to me in this sense. When you get comfortable with somebody, you just, you no longer really, it's not like you don't care about your appearance, like you still take, you still take pride in your appearance and stuff, but you no longer watching the calories, so to speak, because you don't feel like you need to, you no longer trying to pull or like impress other guys. You've got the one and the one wants you for you, if that makes any sense. Anyway, what happened was me and my um, ex-boyfriends as it stands, sorry Dan, if you're watching, diet was getting horrendous. Like, I mean horrendous. We was basically living on around three, maybe four takeaways, maybe even five takeaways a week. I know, so bad, so unhealthy. I can cook, okay, let me tell you, do not get this twisted, I can cook, but I don't know what happened, I just turned lazy. I thought, I think it was because we was working a lot. It's no excuse, I know. I know a lot of people work a lot. It's no excuse. And what happened was, and what made me kind of, what was like a kick up the backside, and some people might think this is harsh. I personally don't. I mean, like I say, I was a bit in denial. I knew, I knew in myself that I felt a bit, you know, I wasn't feeling myself. I was feeling very sluggish, I was feeling, just not in a good place. But anyway, I went into the co-op and my boyfriend was parked, well, my ex-boyfriend was parked in the car park. Anyway, I came back, got in the car and he like double looked at me and I said, what's up? And he said, I didn't even realize that were you. God, I like you've put some weight on. Now, okay, there's a right and there's a wrong way to say it. But me and, me and my, I'm just gonna call him 
me and Dane have a, had a really have still have a relationship like this. So we can be a hundred percent brutally honest with each other. Like if he's getting fat, I'm gonna tell him. If I'm getting fat, he would have told me. And that's just the way it worked. And I personally respect so much that I was in a relationship like that because they're only trying to look after you. In, in if that makes sense, they're not kind of being a feeder. I guess that's what a lot of some people tend to do in a relationship as well. I don't know. You know, there's many reasons for it. I'm just sharing my experience. Yours might be completely different to mine, but I think a little few tips and tricks might help you out. That day, I remember looking in the mirror and thinking, you know, when you just like, you look at every angle of your body and you think, Jesus Christ, man, like, what has happened? Where has that come from? I didn't even realize I was that big until somebody said. That's another thing, if you're not getting told, and you're not gonna think anything of it, are you? So I thought, right, girl, you really need to get your shit together. The first thing that I can say, and you know, you can drum it and drum it into someone until you're blue in the face, but a lot of people don't want to believe this. It is your diet. It all boils down to your diet. I'm not really gonna go too much into the diet plan that I was on because this is gonna be a really hella long video already, I can tell that. I cut out sugar, carbs, dairy, and fat, so. Food products like biscuit, sweets, chocolate, fizzy pop is also a no-no. Drinking, I hate to say, but drinking also has high calories in it. A lot of drinks do. Um, there is obviously drinks out there that you can substitute instead or drink instead that are less fat, that are not going to, that like are least likely to put weight on you. So I'd look into that. <clears throat> I would recommend gin and probably slimline tonic. No, I'm not drinking today guys as well, I know, what the hell? It's only because I'm filming, I probably will have a drink later on. Um, another thing that I'd probably recommend going along with the diet side is your carbs. Carbs. I know they say, you know, you need carbs, it's a slow release of energy, which it is, let me tell you which it is, but if you are wanting to shred weight and quickly, what I'd recommend is to either cut out carbs completely for around a month while you're trying to drop pounds, or stick to the one carb a day, and that's what I did, so say in the morning if you fancied like having, I don't know, if you wanted toast, that's completely fine, have a piece of toast, have two pieces of toast, but then for the rest of the day, there's no carbs. So there's like, no pasta, no potatoes, no chocolate muffins, no brownies, no crisps, pasta, rice, anything like that, you only choose one carb a day. And this worked for me and that's why I'm sharing it with you. I don't necessarily know if it's gonna work for you, but I'm pretty sure it would. So like, meal-wise, just like a kind of quick overview, I'd like have either, um, two boiled eggs in the morning, two hard boiled eggs in the morning, no bread, um, with a bit of like salt and pepper. I'll insert it now so you can see exactly what I mean, how I eat it. <clears throat> Maybe a few tomatoes with it. Or you can have your eggs in the morning when you get up and then if you're feeling hungry at like say 11 o'clock, mid-morning, then have a banana. Or as a treat, um, granola and almond milk. That was a really nice. So say if you're like craving sugar, if you're craving something sweet, that's a breakfast that I'd recommend. One thing that I'll say while we're on the subject of cereal, it's not good for you. Babes, you do not understand how high sugar content is in cereal. Now, a lot of people think cereal's there as a breakfast idea, I get that, but I don't know if I'm slanted, so I apologize if I'm slanted. Cereal, cut it out. Unless it's bran flakes, unless it's like them big wheat bix not the sugary wheat bix but like the plain, boring ass wheat bix Cereal's a no-no. The milk thing, almond milk all the way. All the way, rather than cow's milk. Cow's milk is dairy for a start. If you don't know about dairy, get to know about dairy. You need to read up about it, do your research. I'm not here to be telling. At the end of the day, guys, I'm not like a dietrist. I'm not a specialist in this department. I'm only sharing tips of what I've learned personally, personally for me that have clearly worked. Otherwise, I still look the way that I did, you know, five, six months ago. So then for dinner time, I'd have like a chicken breast and some salad, and then for tea, I'd have fish and veg. Now, 
for my boys and girls that have got a sweet tooth, um, I don't know what they're called, but do you remember, are they like Mic Milkado, Mikado sticks? They're like, they're like a foreign kind of thing. They're basically like a really thin biscuit stick with a really thin layer of chocolate. So if you're craving something sweet, um, one of them, or you can have two squares of dark chocolate. I know some of you are going to be thinking, I don't want dark chocolate. Dark chocolate tastes like shit. The one that I'd recommend is the, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, it's Bourneville, so it's a, it's still in the dairy kind of, still in the dairy kind of world, we'll just go with that, but it doesn't taste like, <coughs> let me move forward, it doesn't taste like really bitter dark chocolate compared to you know, some out there that like 70% cocoa or whatever. They're better for you. Not gonna lie, they are better, but even I can't handle that shit, so. Bourneville chocolate, get yourself a bar, two squares a night, max, do not go over. So then, the next thing that I'd recommend is hydration. Water, 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 water. As I say, no pop. That's not gonna do your, any, your butt any favour. To make it taste a little bit better, I personally love water so I, I can't really say this make it taste any better because it's just this is just like juice from God in my opinion which it, it sort of is really but you know you can add lemon and mint in here which is something that I do on a regular basis you can get one of you can get one of them um, bottles which you put fruit in just to kind of infuse your water a little bit yeah water all the time because another thing that your body tends to do Sometimes I knew that this happened for me when I when I was on um, the pill when I was on contraception Which is another thing that I need to speak about. I bloated up like a freaking balloon And it was because my body was holding water tension Maybe because of contraception, but also because I wasn't drinking enough water Water and so the, the, the least water that you drink your body's gonna hold on to because it needs that it's craving water so That's why it's holding it making you look more swollen and large than probably what you actually would be if you drank more water So yeah teas and coffees eh, Okay, no sugar again. No dairy milk. I know I'm sorry This sounds like such a boring diet thing, but it, it works. So yeah, no Dairy milk, almond milk, soya milk, or even cashew milk, cashew nut milk, um, as a substitute is so much better for you. So then the next tip is to exercise. Again, a lot of people don't want to exercise that they think that the weight's just gonna come off with your diet. Not gonna lie, I'd probably say that 90% of being able to lose weight is your diet. Um, but for a lot of people, if you haven't got a fast metabolism, or say for instance, I was sat down at a desk job and I was just eating constantly, but because I probably would have been a lot skinnier if I was in a job that I'm doing now or more like a physical job, but my body personally couldn't handle it because I wasn't exercising, like I was literally <clears throat> frogging through it. I was literally just jumping in my car, getting to work, jumping back in my car and then home. So I did, I was not exercising. I've got to be honest, I still don't like really exercising now, but is what it is, it's something that you gotta do. So yeah, even if you're exercising twice a week, even if you're not hitting the gym, just go for a walk, go, grab your friend, go for a run. You will need to exercise or you're not gonna see it coming off. I don't wanna sound blunt, but, but it's because you're not exercising, hun. You need to exercise. I'm just trying to help, okay? Just trying to help. Peppermint tea is also great. That is good for digestion. It's good. For, it's good for weight loss. And overall, peppermint tea is just. It's just refreshing. It's just nice. If you fancy having a hot drink, try a peppermint tea instead of a tea or coffee because obviously, like I say, it's so much better for you. So where we've got up to, you need to. These are pretty standard ones. To be fair, everybody on YouTube, everybody in real life is going to tell you these these ways that you can lose weight so it's exercise and it really is and then diet big one probably the main one is your diet it's just, it's honestly just as simple as that you need to just eat clean for however long it takes you to hit your goal weight and then once you've hit your goal weight you can start introducing new foods again but just everything in moderation so yeah Everything in moderation. It depends on your mindset as well. I know this is like a really kind of cliche thing to say but if you really really want 
to lose weight, it's almost as though your body's gonna like come along with your mind and you, you'll lose the weight. But if, you, if your mind's not completely in it, then your body's gonna be holding back as well. Does that make sense? I don't know if that's gonna make sense. It's all sometimes, it's just your mindset. It's just your mind. Another one that I would say as well, this is obviously not something that I'd recommend you to do every single day. It's not something I'd recommend you to get hooked on because I know some people can. Is to take herbal laxatives. I know it sounds a bit strange, but I was having issues with, because it was a change in my diet, I was having issues going to the toilet. So I thought, right, I'm gonna start taking some Senna. You'll have probably heard of Senna Cot. Um, so I popped two of them a night, and then obviously you do your business in the morning. I'm not gonna go too much into it because that's just weird, <laughs> but yeah. Two Senecots and I, and then it's like, it, your body is flushing out all the crap. Do you know what I mean? It's not, like I say, it's not something that I'd recommend you to do all the time, but definitely once or twice a week, just to flush out all the crap. Get all of that food out of your body, all the nutrients have now, you know, you've taken the nutrients that you need from the food, get rid of the food completely, and then bring in some health, some more healthy food. This actually worked quite good for me I, I did notice on the scales that i lost a couple of pounds by doing this for a couple of weeks so yeah senna cot especially if you if you have trouble going to the toilet and another thing that i can recommend is meal replacements some people have like these protein shakes that they'll drink once or twice a day or even three times a day which i personally think is really bad for you living off protein shakes I know some people shred the weight by doing that but personally that would not be for me i don't think you're getting nutrients that you need i don't think you I don't think you're doing your body any favours by doing that, if I'm being completely honest. But if you do it once or twice a day, probably once a day, what's the harm in it? You know, you're still getting a little bit of something in your body. And a lot of some protein things, you know, provide what you need to get you through a morning, for instance. Um, I didn't use them just because I don't, I don't like the taste of them. I think they taste like crap, if I'm being completely honest, regardless of what brand it is. No thanks. Instead of a meal replacement, say for breakfast, I'll have a smoothie instead. Smoothies are actually really good for you, depending on what fruit you put in. I know a lot, some fruits are quite high in sugar, so you need to do your research on that and see what fruit is the best for you. But yeah, and they can be really filling, you know, if you put a little bit of low fat yogurt in, if you put some, again, some almond milk or some coconut water. All of these ingredients are doing your body favours. I think what I was saying before, going back to like the mindset thing, it's going to be hard. You are going to have cravings like hell, believe me. You'll be craving, like I'm looking at the steak pie in front of me right now, I'm thinking, mm. but no. You will be craving biscuits. Don't give in. Do not have a biscuit. Like I say, have one of them little thin Mikado sticks if you really want one or a couple of pieces of dark, repeat, dark chocolate. For instance, me and Dane got hooked on having takeaways. By the, the second week, even the second week, of do, second week of doing this diet, I was craving cheesy chips. Like, I'm cheesy chip mad, bloody love cheesy chips. But it's only because that's what my body's been used to, if that makes sense. So now because I'm used to doing this diet that I've been doing for months, when I don't eat like this, when I have an off week, for example, I'll say if I'm not eating as good as what I should, if I'm missing out fruit and veg, my body starts to crave this healthy stuff, which is just overall so much better for you than it craving cheesy chips or, you know, pepperoni pizza. <laughs> we all love it and we all love a treat, don't get me wrong. But it's just, I would try and see this, if you can, as a lifestyle to follow rather than it being a diet. Make it a lifestyle and something that you enjoy. Obviously, like I say, you don't have to eat the same foods as other people do that are dieting. You have to find the foods that are right for you. There are so many good, healthy foods out there that taste amazing. You've just got to find the right ones for you. If you also use things like apps, so I can't show you because I'm filming with my phone because I don't have a camera, but the app that I use that really, really helped, I downloaded an app called Lose It. Basically what it is, is um, a calorie counter app. So for breakfast, you'll put in what you ate and you can scan your food or you can type in, you know, grapes from Sainsbury's or salad from Morrison's and it'll work out the calories for you. 
you can basically put your goal weight in for what you want to be. So you tell the app what you are now, the goal weight that you want to be, and then it'll give you a sort of a rough estimate of how long that is going to take you. And then it will also give you a budget of how many calories that you should be in a day. Um, and then also it's got like a food wheel, so you'll have like a section where it tells you how much protein that you should be in, how much fat that you should be in, which is obviously, as you can imagine, it's like a tiny, tiny little slice. And then I think... I think it was fruit and veg. It's it's been a while. It's been almost like like a year since I've used the app, but I'd really recommend it. It's free as well, so yeah, lose it. Absolutely amazing. You can also get an app on your phone where you can count your steps, how many steps that you've done a day, to make sure that you're getting the right amount of exercise. Yeah, I'm gonna insert a couple of pictures. I don't think I've got any videos, so I'll insert a before picture now. And then this is obviously, as you can see, this is me now. Um, afterwards. So to get right down to the nitty gritty um, and just be completely honest, the heaviest I have been, and um, like say, you know, it, it's not a lot to some, some people. Um, <clears throat> and I'm not bashing anybody that's been bigger than me, but for me personally, it was the biggest weight that I've ever been, that I've ever known. Um, to say that I was eight stone, you know, 10 piss wet at 3, wet 19, and then all of a sudden, I hit 13 stone um, a pound, I think it was, 13 stone and a pound, which, you know, it's a big difference, it's a, it's a big, big difference, not to like, as I said, you know, on my Instagram, not to toot my own trumpet, but I am actually genuinely proud, the weight that I am now, last year, I put that I wanted to hit a goal weight, which was, I think it was 10 and a half stone, um, but I've actually managed to get down to 9 stone 11, so yeah, I'm doing really well. I think I'm at the goal weight for me now. There is so many things that you can do to encourage weight loss, it's just like I say, it's, it's all in the mind. If you want to lose it, you will lose it, trust me, believe me. Um, I'm living proof, there's millions and thousands of other people that are living proof, you just need to put the time and the effort in. Yeah, I think I think we've basically covered everything. So what it boils down to is, you know, your diet, number one, exercise, what you're drinking. So you need 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 water. Can't stress that one enough. Um, centers, give it a go. Why not? Um, maybe meal replacements every now and again. Like I say, I don't really rate them that much, but you can do it now and again. It's not going to hurt and the the app the, the apps that i've suggested so yeah they're the main pointers but i'm just keeping it real here there's no secret as such honestly there's not there's not a massive secret to tell it's just one of them you either do it or you don't do it and you stay the way that you are i basically wish you all the best of luck in your diet journeys oh i forgot to mention jesus christ i forgot to mention another thing which this isn't going to really affect or impact guys, so you can click off the video now if you want. Um, but for women, contraception is a massive, massive thing. I can't stress this enough either. I put weight on from having the implant, the injection, the pill, every single contraception, hormonal contraception that you can think of, I've tried and I put weight on. So now recently, and this is something that I'm going to save for another video with like my experience on it, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I just had a copper coil fitted. Now, I was never ever keen on the idea of having a coil fitted. Let me just be straight with you. I never ever dreamed I would be having something in my body down there permanently. It just, I didn't, you know. But the reason why I did it was because it doesn't encourage, um, it doesn't increase your appetite, there's no weight gain, there is no hormonal imbalance. It's just, it's natural basically, it's decent for your body. So yeah, just monitor the contraception that you're on um, from when you started, see if you put any weight on from when you've started and if you have, then maybe consider changing. I am gonna do a whole separate video on that though because it's obviously, it's, like I said, this video is probably gonna be about 20, 25 minutes long anyway. Get to give me a big thumbs up comment if you wish i'll definitely be sure to reply i don't ignore any of you if i can help it unless i don't like you see you all in my next video bye everyone